two free therapy in the studio. I cannot believe it. I am feeling great. Back in the space we belong. A new home and with a new guest as always today. Well, my first impression, I thought not only could she probably send me to heaven, but she could crush me in half. She could smack me all the way back down to hell as well. Mariah, and I should have asked how to pronounce the last name before the show started, but I'm going to take this try anyway, and I have no doubt you will correct me. McCon... McConaughey? <laughs> <laughs> McConaughey. 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 You can listen, you can say it however you want. I'm gonna know who you're talking about, it's fine. McConaughey, no relation to McConaughey. No, because I would not be, you know, still trying to be successful if I had that connection. That's for fucking sure. Yeah, I don't think you'd have any issues. But but I don't think you'll have any issues going for it either as we get into this podcast. I think everybody will find out exactly why. If I knew how to pronounce your last name, I would have also mentioned Makes nails look like a bitch, McConaughey. Mariah yeah. makes nails look like a bitch, McConaughey. Oh, really? Do you think people think you're gay? I'm not getting that vibe. Really? Really? That's what you said to me. You're like, I think people think I'm gay. I don't get that vibe. It was more of a bit. I was trying. People, it was just more people, of a joke people, that I had. So I mean, I'm, ladies, sometimes I think people think I'm a lesbian because I talk like a boy. But you know, teach their own. So to each their own. Goddamn right. <laughs> to each their own. <laughs> As we are, uh, well, we attempted to get, um, and, and so wait, you said you didn't think I was gay, though. What no. was the first first impression? Um. And then I'll give you mine, because why not? I mean, I don't really know. I don't judge people when I meet them. I think so that's the hard. wrong thing to do, It's right? hard, because it's like, um, I feel like people always make a, like a, a snap judgment of me. Right. So when people are like, well, what did you think of me when we met? I'm like, I don't know. I wasn't really thinking about it. You know, like I didn't. Your person, you right. know, I but I think that really does like delves into like what we're going to talk about though is that just people like societal constructs. People think that you can they can just look at somebody and then make this know odd. this person, and it's just not true like, at all. So well, that leads me to my opening question. This is is this is with that. What is the most not even most annoying? I want to say the most unique attack that you have ever received. I want the most out there, eccentric, with our word of the day, just like absolutely the one that, absurd, like the one that I strange. Didn't mind or like the one that was, cause there, I actually have a funny story about like a guy in Guam, but I mean. Give me that one, guys, give me that one. Well, that, that's actually a good one. So that's like the like the young love kind of stuff. I mean, I didn't love him, you know, I felt kind of bad for him, but he's cool, he's a cool guy. Okay. But so we, okay. Lived, in, we lived in the barracks in Guam and probably so the most- So he loved you, you didn't love him back to No, he didn't love me. I mean, we were all in a group of friends, but I think he was just very creative. And I really, I honestly have, like, I like creativity, you yeah. know? And me too. it sticks to me with this, to like, to this day, I still tell this story. We lived next door to each other, so it's super awkward because <laughs> what he did, I was like, so I noticed. That's just as bad as dating the coworker. Yeah, I noticed that, like, because like I said, we were in the same group of friends. I was like, why are you stealing all of these Rice Krispie treats from the DFAC? Like, <laughs> DFAC is like where we all go eat, you know? And I was like, why are you, like, I was like. Yeah, Rice Krispies them? only for Guam guy. Yeah, well, I, that's what I was like really confused and I was like Tom I was like, yo, what is he doing? Well, I opened my door one day and it's Guam. It's hot. Yeah. Okay. I open my door and there is a castle made out of Rice Krispies. <laughs> and, and that's something that I am going to talk about like on my show too is like, it's not, a lot of my advice sounds like it's directed towards women and it is, but it's also directed towards men. Whereas, like, men have been in that situation. It doesn't matter how bad this dude thinks he is. I don't care. You could be tatted up, muscular, got a jawline like the crimson chin. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Looking like the some, situation. Some guy. Whatever, I guess some, it's that. Some, DJ some, some girl. Oh, some girl like, had him hung up. To me. <laughs> some girl had him hung up. And everybody's been in that situation. You know what I mean? Everybody's yeah. been in that situation. And... I don't know what the fuck we were talking about. I'm no, I'll get us back on track. No worries. No, you're talking. Well, what you're getting at and what we're getting at here is one um, is that basically this. So this girl came back and focused it on well, why she made it about her. her. She right. made it about her, exactly. and that's something that I used to do. That I've like recently, I'd say, like in the last year, learned that sometimes it's not about you. And I like the girl. The he he just. He doesn't, it's about what he wants too. And like, that's something that I like to like to talk about is like, 
women are always so focused on their feelings. Right, why don't you just like be alone for a while? And I'm like, bitch, I've been alone. Like, the fuck you mean? Like, you know, but I didn't really understand what they were saying. Right. There's a difference between being alone and wanting to be alone because you feel like you deserve to be alone. And to being alone, but that's the thing. Really it's well a said. Very common misconception. Being alone is not a bad thing. Like, being alone doesn't mean, oh, I don't deserve to be with somebody. It means, no, I, I deserve to know myself and I deserve to put my myself first and my goals first and, you know, what do I want to accomplish and what do I want in a partner and things like that. And that's basically like where I'm at. I'm just like, I'm just not looking. If something happens, like that, but that's when all great things happen when you're not looking, you know? And well, kind of talk about what it was like when you were like, growing so up so in that situation basically, and then kind of conforming into that. At the age of like 13, my mom would take me to Chili's and they'd be like, separate checks? And my mom would be like, no, she's 13 years old. Are you really? Yeah, all the time. Like, my, really? I just all people always just thought I was way older than I was. Like, I mean, like, I remember uh, we would go places and my, uh, my dad yelled at somebody one time and like, I, I mean, I'm very... I wouldn't say I'm oblivious in a bad way. I just don't care. I'm off in my own universe all the time, you know. Yeah. So that's how I used to get told that all the like, time. I've had right. people be like, <laughs> I've had people be like, did you notice that person staring at you? And I'm like, no. Like right. I'm gonna end up on day one for sure. I'm super pissed too because my favorite word to say to them is no. Cheers anytime, to forgiving Mariah. Her anytime, friends anytime, right anytime they want to drink, and then I'll go do something else, and I'll drink, and they're gonna be like, you're a fucking bitch. And I'm like. Sorry. She's drinking with the nerdy stand-up comics I, she just met on Thursday instead. I can't handle <laughs> alcohol. I just can't. My body's just like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, we're, you're not 20 and underage and stationed overseas anymore. Like, stop drinking. Like, I drank like a whole bottle of Jaeger one time. I'll never touch it again. Wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah. see, I, I, have I, a, I have a big don't list of things I won't touch. Well, see, you kind of, see, that's good for you because you at least have the moment, we'll get back on track here in a second, but at least you have that moment of, oh, Jesus Christ, I killed a whole bottle of Jaeger. I'm like, okay, well, I killed a whole six pack of mixed cocktails last night just to go. And yeah. it's, it's, you know, it's Well, kinda, that's like, the thing, too, but, like, that's what, that's also, like, where we're kind of, like, heading to is that, like, I feel like people want to numb themselves from the things that they're feeling, you know? Yeah. And, everybody's got a vice and I'm like sometimes I'm like I wish I had a fucking vice but I don't I really don't have like a vice for I mean I work out and things like that and stuff and I told I, you I think that is I think but that I is have I mean well not right now I've been eating cookie dough and lo mein for like two weeks vice so. <laughs> <laughs> but, points that I want to touch on for a second and one and you definitely got us back on track here because one like you mentioned it was you know your early years and then you kind of go in uh, you know you kind of start to defy those stereotypes by kind of going into something like the military then you're kind of facing that still in the military and you're starting to see these negative side effects dealing with that anxiety and depression that comes with that and you're seeing what I think, and I want to clarify what you said, because you said that I, uh, suicide is not a weakness. I, I could not agree more. Suicide is an effect, a side effect, probably the worst side effect of a disease called depression. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what suicide is. It is the ultimate effect, just like any other disease, whether it's cancer, has an ultimate end, or, um, you know, whatever the case may be, has an ultimate end, right? So I think that's very important to point out. And, and when you... Don't earn a quit to deal with those kind of things. You've been here your whole life, right, Mariah? Right? Well, I'm supposed to be this, and I'm supposed to be the, the money and health and relief, yeah, Mariah. It's hard, right. it's hard to break out of that box that you've, you've built for yourself, you know? And and I, I would get mad at work. I would be like, you know, they they don't think I know how to do my job properly and things like that. Or they, they people would make jokes. New airmen would come in and, like, and like belittle me and make me like, oh, well, you know, ha, 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 or something about that. And... I'm just like, who the fuck are you? Like, I just, I look at every situation in my life now and I'm like, all right, this is the situation. Does it deserve, even though it might elicit an emotional reaction, mm -hmm. you know, naturally, mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going there because it doesn't, it doesn't require emotions. It requires logic. Right. And I can handle this situation logically. I don't need to, I don't need to get all hyped up about it. I don't need to get on Instagram and, you know, scream at somebody or, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not doing like all this like stupid shit. Anymore. I don't have to justify myself. I don't, this. and I'm just, yeah, and I'm just not gonna do it anymore. Like, I'm gonna be honest, there's one guy that I would slightly consider changing how I live my life, slightly, and I have not even, I've never even dated this guy. I've never even dated him, but I would consider, you know, everybody else, I'm just like, dude. And you, you know, won't date him because you're concerned of the door that I would mean, open? I mean, I don't even, I don't know. 
That's how it works. So you cannot like stop holding people to standards that you cannot hold to yourself, you know? Sure. And, like that's where like that whole double standard thing comes in, you know? Why are you sitting here talking about a man's salary when you don't make shit? You know? Right. Well, like, why are you putting all these? And, and, but it goes both ways, you know what I mean? Like, I really started looking at, like, what I can bring to the table. And I know that I pay all my bills, I have extra money, and I don't want for anything. So, I'm not, like, I never, I don't know, it just, it doesn't make sense to me why, why people do that, I guess. You're, you're gonna bitch about being lonely and that you can't find anybody, but then you're gonna immediately cancel every single person that you meet out, because... Right. Because of this one not, little imperfection. This is not a fucking Disney movie. Like, the, the people that I cared about the most in my life... Right. Prince Charming, you're not going to find this fucking slipper and kiss him at midnight. Like I'm the, sorry, the, you're just I mean, not. and it sucks, but I, no, I do believe in, like, romance. Not everyone's going to build you a listen, Rice Krispie castle I, and, and I'm make gonna you... Miss, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna see, that's going to happen a lot. I don't know. And yeah, it, it, so, I mean, it is. And it's it, the thing to remember with that is that I think... Ask you in your own insecurities. When you say, hey, it's not, it's, it's, it's me, it's all about me, and then... I've the done reason that. I've been that girl, and I hate to say that, but I did. I, I, I've been that girl that, like, I didn't recognize when someone just wasn't ready, you know? And I made it about me, and it wasn't about me. I'm not doing that anymore, you know? Like... Good things happen in time. Stop looking. Start. I have noticed this so much in like the last couple months is that I started really focusing on myself and I started saying like, what's going to make me happy? What are my goals? My goal, I want to live in California in the next, you know, three or four years. I'm going to have a house and I'm just going to be, I'm going to live a very stress-free life. We're going to do know? a stand-up show in LA together? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't can't think wait. that that's, I don't know if that's, I don't think I'm that funny, but. We'll be the next uh, but, middle ditch in sports. Like, what do I do? I'm like, stop fucking with it, all right? It's right. Like, it's like a zit. Stop playing with it, okay? Leave it the fuck alone. <laughs> right. It's going to take care of itself, you know? Everything, or it's going to pop and it's going to get yeah, even worse. Everything, listen, I'm a big believer in karma, okay? Everything takes care of itself, all right? And I find out everything. Like, I don't even have to fucking try. People just call me and tell me shit. Right. And I'm just like... Well, and I think that's because it, because your persona and how you put up yourself and, and to kind of put a bow because I do want to talk about your big news that we oh, got. Yeah. Going. I have <laughs> friends. Well, I was a journalist in the military, so oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, you I probably about didn't that? even mention that. No, was, you didn't. <laughs> I was, yeah, one of my lives, like I was a journalist when I was in the military, so I just like I uh, that's when awesome. I, when I can get a thought and I can string it together well, you know, which is half the time not. But hey, I, you know what? I think I, I love the beautiful landscape of the off the rails that we have. Yeah, yes. but I was a journalist and I started writing kind of just for fun sometimes. And my friends were like, and I just go on rants, you know, and my friends were just like, you have to do a blog. And I was like, no, I don't want to. Or you should do a podcast. And I was like, eh, no, you cannot keep, you can't keep self-medicating all the time because it's going to come out. And I know that because I suppress things in the military. So you're have, really good at like talking with somebody, but not making them feel like you're directly calling. No, because it's, 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 it's really not too. You know, no. like sometimes I'll be talking about something, and somebody will be like, "Damn, that really like hit home." And I was like, "Dude, I wasn't even talking." I know you were. Like, I know. I'm like, I wasn't, yeah, no, but you it, happens gonna, me, yeah. it happens all the time, and I feel like that's maybe why I'm supposed to be doing a podcast. Yeah. People take what I say very like directly to themselves. You know, and I'm like, dude, I'm not even talking about you, but like it helped them somehow, you know? And, Absolutely. And like, but it, it is, it's true. Like that stuff comes out sooner or later. And like, I, the worst thing you can do is suppress something. I did it for so long. I did it for so many years when I first got like diagnosed with PTSD, I had to have somebody sit me down and, and tell me that it was a real thing. Me. So... I, I think people have a lot to look forward to. I think we're really happy to have you part of the team, happy to have you part of the Four Corners radio family. And um, at the end, they thought Ology is premiering this week. Check it out. And you can also follow Mariah at, if you want to throw that out there. Or Mariah Malabuji. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I did make that up, yeah. Um, on Instagram. And then um, we are, I think we're going to plan to release on Thursday. So it's going to be okay. Thoughtology Thursdays. Okay, Thoughtology Thursdays, yeah. right after Free Therapy Wednesdays listen, with Little Joe. It ain't just for 
thoughts, all right? That was a play on words. <laughs> Don't be offended. Nobody's calling you a thought, but at some point, we've all been that hoe over there. I'm oh, sure we all have. have been that hoe we over all there. have. Oh, absolutely. So, exactly. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad. I'm ready to go. And I'm speaking excited. of F Four Quarters Radio, not only will Thoughtology be premiering this week, but of course, if you want to be part of F Four Corners Radio family as well, you have F Four Corners Studio right now to be part of that family to join free therapy, Thoughtology, hooping and hollering, uh, bread and butter, last nice guys, degenerates are us, and of course, face of the franchise. And guys, just remember. Why go pay $100 for therapy? Of course, use that as your tool, as the bit slightly edited is my, uh, my motto here. But why pay $100 for therapy? But still do that if you need it. When you can get Little Joe for free every Wednesday, we are out.